So Caroline asked, or actually indicated, I picked up a buyer referral last night. Has uh, He has 15,000 in the bank, but has credit score of 500. Please tell me what options I might have with Housemaster. I am new. This oh, is Caroline. Right. Caroline. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. $15,000 down excites me. <laughs> that means you can sell them a pretty significant home. But of course, it all relates to how much they can actually afford on a monthly basis. So another factor that I would need, maybe you have this answer and you can join us if you want to come off of mute, you can join us um, and, uh, and answer that question. But the key factor that I would be interested in at this point is how much do they make? And then given that, I would now go about finding a property for them. Okay. I haven't had the initial conversation with him yet because he was re referred to me, but uh, my lady who referred him to me gave me the information that I know, which he's got $15,000 down, he's moving to Atlanta, and his credit's 500. So I am going to give him a call, but I didn't know because I, I didn't know since I just started your house monster thing yesterday and I hadn't had a chance to get in there to learn. I do know that I have to try to convince him to sign up with the membership. And right. then I don't, I don't know where else to go from there. Well, I'll tell you exactly. As soon as he signs up for the membership down at the bottom, it says referred by. And so we want him to, and of course there's a, there's a clicker there that he chooses you know, it's a friend or a family or somebody else that referred. But right above that is a fillable box, meaning that they can write anything they want to, uh, any additional comments. So tell them to put your name in that box. And as a result of that, that will come to National. National will send it back to you. Now, what will you get? You'll get that questionnaire. That questionnaire is valuable because you're, you're actually going to see all the questions answered, you know, name, address, city, state, telephone number, email address, all of that good stuff. And then it goes into how much do you feel that you can afford per month? And then it asks how much do you have to work with towards your next home, which you already have that answer. And then it asks the number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, any kind of location preference. Do they need a basement? Do they need a garage? So all the other details, but one of the most valuable details is one of the statements that we have on that questionnaire is some of our homes need some repairs. Would you be interested in doing some or all of the repairs in exchange for a credit towards your down payment? And then if they say no, nothing happens. If they say yes, then a panel opens up and asks them, uh, which ones will you do? <laughs> the okay. interior painting, exterior painting, landscaping, uh, drywall, you know, it goes on and on. And it's got all the details in terms of boxes that they can check. Well, I love getting those. It's like a gift because every time and we got several in today and you open it up and boom, they've got a whole bunch checked. And I've noticed most of the time, the less money they have, the more boxes they check. <laughs> mm -hmm. but, but that's a good thing because that's exactly what we're looking for, right? We're looking for a house that needs those things done, some or all of those things done. And we're going to give them the opportunity to do that. And then we're going to give them credit of that towards their down payment. So you could end up with a home run on this. Now, the next thing is... Uh, I've found that people are very flexible, Caroline. So it doesn't really matter if they say they want one particular area unless there's a real restriction like to school district or there's some kind of, of family restriction that they've got to be in this certain area. But what I've found is that people are very flexible. So it doesn't really matter what they said. I'm going to show them anything that I find. And the third thing I would mention is that that person can help you find a property as well. And so you can tell them, look, you, if you happen to be driving around and you see a property, maybe you see a blue tarp on the roof, maybe you see uh, the grass is tall, maybe you see that it needs repairs, something like that, that might be a candidate for our program. So you tell me those addresses and any other information you have about the property. And we'll go about seeing if we can purchase the property. If we can, 
great, you've got your home. And, uh, and if not, can, we'll continue to look also. Now, Caroline, I remember from yesterday that you're a real estate broker. So that's easy for you to get on the inter, uh, internet and on the MLS and search to see what properties you might find that would match what that person's looking for. Well, the big factor for me is the fact that he's got $15,000 down. That's, that's, that's a score. And uh, one of the things, just as you just heard from Hannah, is that you'll be able to find properties that have existing financing on there that given that it needs repairs, it might uh, be easier for that seller to agree to allow you to take over that existing financing. 